Hey guys, welcome back to GTA 5, my favorite day of the week, recording day, and especially when I'm playing this game, I love it. It's getting so exciting, so dramatic now, and emotional, and a bit darker. I am definitely ready to go into this episode. I don't really know what we're getting up to today, so let's just jump straight in and find out. All right, guys, today we are going to start off with Michael. I noticed that we have another shrink appointment on the map. I am very excited. We all know that this guy is a ripoff, but I'm invested in it. And we also get to find out little bits and pieces about Michael as well and lose a small bit of money for the, for the privilege. But I love these missions. Abandonment issues, it's called. Well, Michael, I see you're back around and making time for your mental health. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I came. <laughs> mm. What do you want, Michael? I don't know. Just, I just want, I want something that isn't this. You know, this caring about two things at once. I mean, I want to be a good dad love my family you know, live the dream mm. but at the same time I really want the other stuff too mm. I suppose you haven't really considered the fact that by neglecting your therapy you've guaranteed these behavioral relapses neglecting no I hadn't considered that <laughs> so pal what's the source of conflict this time pal Things are kind of on the uptick, Doc. There's no greater concern than optimism. <sighs> Where are we now? Ah, <laughs> uh, Faye's getting hard to keep track of who wants to kill me at any given moment. <laughs> Trevor still wants to eat my liver. He doesn't care. But we're playing nice because we're working a job together. Mm-hmm. The FIB, they want me dead uh, because I'm no longer useful to them. Mm -hmm. Investor guy who hooked me up with the studio, he's pissed off because I didn't burn it down for him. But the wife and kids are back under the roof. So maybe things are okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, family is important, Michael. But make sure you want them there for the right reasons. Any other acting out friends? It's actually good advice. Tell me. <sighs> Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and... Sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split mm. personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. <laughs> what? Deranged? I'm not accepting that. <laughs> what? It was a fuck up, Doc. I'm still a good guy underneath. Hmm. Anything else? <laughs> Anything sexual? Look. I made a few mistakes, Doc. Pretty bad ones, but in the last few days, it's been a lot better. Well, I suppose you seeing the problems you cause is progress of a sort. <laughs> so I feel like there's progress in some areas and, you know, none in others. That's incredible stuff. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard such a barrage of denial, self-justification, and outright horror what the thing is michael so rude here can we just get a quick photo together huh Jeez. why what is this i really think i can't treat you anymore the fact is what i'm in love with you oh, oh my god you what okay well <laughs> that's not true <laughs> good you're learning good <laughs> what's going on nothing it's just what? i think you need a new therapist and i'm leaving town wow. i've got a tv show I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> Think of the fucking sucks. tail. All those fucking bitches who called me pube head. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. <gasps> you. Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. Oh my god, what? Bye now. <laughs> Fuck. This is crazy. Stop and think oh, about what? it. Deep breaths. Calm. Calm. Oh, we can kill this dude. I'm taking him out. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. I've, I've got, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. 
I'm gonna try my best to kill him. Come on, catch up, catch up, catch up, catch up. I wanna kill him so bad. Oh no. I just, I'm not worried about the TV show deal. I just wanna kill him for my personal enjoyment. Where is this guy? He is so quick. I am so glad that I turned up here in at least something decent. Oh, there he is in the little red car. I got you. I got you. Come back here, asshole! Oh. You're acting out, Michael. Don't act out! Get him, Michael! Hey, I'm a nice person! You gotta tell people that! Now, oh! That's how you work through an issue! He got... <laughs> he got wiped out! Oh my god, he got wiped out, but not by me! I got some money, not much! Oh! That is a beautiful... Oh, I hate this guy. <laughs> Hang on, where'd his car go? It's just gone. Oh, look at his body. Just laying in the road. I am very happy. Very happy to see the last of Dr. Friedlander. <laughs> that was awesome. I don't care about his TV show. I don't like how he's been treating Michael this whole time. He doesn't care about him. He just wants his money. That was satisfying. That was so satisfying. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, what is it? This motherfucker clean. Oh yeah, it is Franklin. I love how he takes care of his bike. He takes care of his car. Oh yes. So what we are going to do now, we actually have a mission for Franklin. Oh, they're up at his house. So we are going to go and do that. The Lester assassination missions, of course, I will leave them until the end. Um, what I was actually honestly thinking about, guys, was just replaying this for myself and starting again and probably following like a money-making guide so this save that I'm working on or that I have been working on oh, I feel terrible to say to say this because I've been working on it for so long now but I may not even keep it I may just start again I haven't fully decided yet so don't know what I'm gonna do but if I do start again, I will definitely follow a guide so that I can make a really, really good amount of money. I mean, the money that we have now with the boys is not too bad. Franklin has 1.2 million. He's doing okay. But there are many things that I want to buy. I'm not sure if we have enough money to buy everything. I don't know. Haven't decided. That's just hey, where my head is at the moment. I still can't get over Dr. Friedlander. He cared not one bit about Michael's well-being or his mental health throughout this whole ordeal of seeing him. All he cared about was receiving the money and getting that picture with Michael there at the end was honestly such a telling sign that he probably would go on his talk show and show off his client and probably tell some really really terrible things about him to the audience terrible things we do not want that to happen so it's best that he's gone to be honest um i don't know what this mission is at franklin's house we haven't had a mission for franklin in so long I've missed him. He is a fantastic character. So I am excited about this. I really, really like Franklin. I'm waiting for him to take his 
helmet off. All right, let's go. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, look at his house. It's a house of dreams. Lamar down? What does that mean? Lamar down. Lamar down. All I can think of, of is like Black Hawk down, that movie. Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad That's you That's Tanisha, here. right? I can't stay. What's up, babe? But it's Lamar. What that fool want now? He's <laughs> your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. <laughs> all he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Mm -hmm. well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what mm. the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit What's is old. up to? Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a <laughs> fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. Wow. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Fuck, man, my whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you <laughs> and your doctor? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear, it ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who mm. you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. <laughs> look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Oh. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. I'm so surprised to see Tanisha here, considering we've never had any interactions with her at all for so long um since the beginning franklin what's up hey man i'm in a bit of a bad situation my boy lamar got set up i think he up near Polito bay at some sawmill with some ballers could you like do some computer magic and look into it <laughs> is that possible at all it uh, should be <laughs> i've got a back door into the Polito bay police network left over from the score we did up there oh uh, nice. give me a second here uh hold on uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? Oh, they still what? aren't getting along that well. Tell him it's for me, and oh, it's serious. What? Thanks, man. Okay, all right. Uh, I, I, are they really going to be there? Um, I can't swap to them? No. Can I actually call them at all? No. Stretch set up Lamar? Strizatch is out, y'all. Still on this one. It's not there. All right. Well, there's no one I can really call right now. Michael's busy. Okay. Wow. I am very surprised, <laughs> to say the least, that we are going to be here with Michael and Trevor. And they are not getting along well. Lester, you may have underestimated that just a little bit, but... I think they will pull together for Franklin. I definitely Michael will and Trevor seems to like Franklin and Lamar as well. He certainly wouldn't be doing it to pull any favors with Michael. We are almost here. I actually love that it made us drive such a long way. It makes it sort of realistic. Like don't even look at my car. I've had a few accidents along the way because I took a shortcut 
down a mountainside and it didn't go well. Oh. Oh. They are here. Look. Oh my god. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, <laughs> but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah, tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Oh my god, it's so now, childish. See the Where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there he goes. Oh. You know, tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. Tell I don't wanna be Trevor. anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Oh classic, my god. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. They're like little kids. Oh, here we he go. He runs away from the fight. I run towards it. You sure do. Get into an assault position. Okay, well. Uh, well, which one? I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Uh -huh. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way. But I won't be able to cover you. All right, thanks. Mobilize, motherfucker. This shit is on. Oh. God. Screw it. Let's improvise. Oh no, I didn't go into a point. Oh man. Okay, well, let's just have some fun. I am not afraid of a good fight when it comes to this game. Bring it on. I am quite confident. I don't mind at all. Frank! You found Lamar yet? No, don't. Just more balls. Where's Lamar at, kids? Yeah, where is Lamar? Let's just keep pushing. Yeah, let's go indeed. Let's go. Give us the mouthy one and we'll be gone. <laughs> let's have fun with Trevor. With his beautiful rampage you Don't got a friend it of all. ours it's over for you oh Get yeah oh, oh. hey listen here mother bring out lamar we'll go away <laughs> come on lamar is frank slide back sniper fire Okay, well let's um oh, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, I couldn't find him. Shut up. There's a couple more. There you are. And you and just one more. Trevor's taking care of him. Right, let's talk to Trevor as he needs some help. One more fella. He's actually with Lamar right now. Oh, there. There, there, there. Look. Oh. There Take he some is. of that help, thank LD. you. Hey, Lamar. Lamar. Let's go before they turn you into a wood chip. Oh, wow. Well, oh, there's more. Yes. Hey, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get up. Let's go. <laughs> Crazy dude. Come on, guys, here in you move. Yep. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, Frank's here too. This is too far. You thought he came by himself? Come on, man. Look out, they're coming at us. Yeah. All these dudes just trap me. If we go out this way, Mike will be able to cover us. My ball. You got another guy hiding up there? Hey, dog, I'm all right. <laughs> all these dudes just to clap him. He will never hear the end of this. You're fucking done, you bitch. By the way, this is like all part of the plan, Yeah, come on, Trevor. I love his rampage ability. Beautiful. 
It is so good. Where is this guy? There you are. One We're minute. getting out of here! Oh, Michael, wait, wait! Where, where? Oh, there? Oh, no! That guy! Oh, damn! <laughs> I would have been better off just staying with Trevor. Alright, I'm going too! Thanks, sneaky dude! I still ain't met your ass! <laughs> Alright, you too! Go! Go, 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 go! <laughs> yes, hey, T, sir. you got to tell the people up at the strip club that your boy Long Dick drank for free. You heard? What? What did he just call himself? Oh, my gosh. Shit, homie. You all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or I get killed, opportunity. <laughs> Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga. A realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Mm -hmm. Man, wouldn't trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which oh. I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. <laughs> also Oops. Sorry, we guys. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the busy. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. <laughs> Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs. Talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the... This the hood you talking about. Sorry, guys. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, oh, sitting in that really? house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Mm. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Mm. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you called it? <laughs> Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. Yeah. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. <laughs> Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And you matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not no. talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. <laughs> man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Yeah. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Mm -hmm. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. Mm -hmm. But Stretch put in the work on D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Mm -hmm. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Probably. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Mark's dog, but a bunch of them got booked. Mm -hmm. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch sends you out there where they doing a the cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. <laughs> yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit and <laughs> FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I don't know. 
Man, shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. Mm. It ain't back in the day no more, dog. Yeah. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving <laughs> your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. Mm. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. <laughs> oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you better check them trolls, homie. You probably shit it yourself. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. Mm. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. Yeah, they only I send like two of the little homies that. to get you. <laughs> nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. <laughs> nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squaw <laughs> bitches want me to nut on their face all day. <laughs> Bitch, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that. That was awesome. I knew that Lamar would get such a big head uh, uh, over having so many ballers going after him. That to him is such a huge compliment. But from that conversation, it sounds like Lamar is certainly jealous of Franklin's mentorship with Michael and how he's been hanging around those old dudes. Because he just, he just misses hanging out with Franklin like they used to do back in the day. I probably wouldn't even be surprised if Lamar got himself up into some trouble just on purpose in order to have Franklin come in and help and they get into some scraps like they used to. He just misses his best friend, that's all. He misses his friend. Franklin's moved away. He's living a totally different life now than Lamar and he probably just can't really relate to him in the way that he used to anymore. Like this town here, this is not Franklin's home anymore. <laughs> nigga. So I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in a second. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying? Leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, How much is that? Thank you. I guess payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know <laughs> what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in a bucket of chicken on the way to the poor <laughs> house, huh? Oh. Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. You supposed to, my nigga. Mm. I thought we was homies for life. Mm. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. Mm. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Mm. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, mm. nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came mm. from the sandbox together. Mm. I know that. I got you, dog. If mm. something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Mm. Oh! What's up, player? Oh, what? Hello, Franklin. Oh, man, I don't no. know you We done. Hey, what's we ain't this? done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. What? Man, what the Please. fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? <laughs> fuck his wife or something, or invade some fucking country. No, no, something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. What? Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture, <gasps> homie. I Michael will be sensible, knew but it. Trevor, Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Oh my God. Man, Trevor saved you. 
He saved both of y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. No way. Hey, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dog. Mm -hmm. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. Mm -hmm. That's why it's up to you, homie. No. Nah. <gasps> Lamar, did you, did you hear that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. Lawson ass, nigga. <laughs> Yet more secrets kept from Lamar. This is so bad. Where did he go? We gave him $50? Oh, please. Come on. That's real bad. <laughs> Franklin just gave him $50. Oh, wow, a, a message from Jimmy. I'm going to the premiere of his movie. Got to meet him at Ponsonby so he can get a tux. The next stop's the red carpet. Cool. Um, oh, I don't know if I can call Trevor. Oh, no, I don't want to hang out. I don't know if I can call Trevor or Michael or Tanisha and tell her that we've actually done what she wanted. This is Tanisha. No. Can I go and see Aunt Denise? Hello, I'm back from the desert and I don't want you around here. <laughs> but it's half my house. <laughs> Lots of change, boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's terrible. This mission with Lamar. Oh, I can totally see Lamar's side of things. He just wants his buddy Franklin he wants his best friend Franklin he wants things to be like how they always were he's not willing to move past uh, this life that he and Franklin used to have he is maybe jealous envious of what Franklin has now and Franklin dude you've got 1.2 million dollars you could have given him more than 50 bucks honestly I can see a mission for Michael that's just appeared on the map. So we may go and take a little look at that. Uh, couldn't they have popped him in the suburbs? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> at least he's driven back this whole way. That's helpful. Oh, we're going to Ponsonby's to buy a suit. I have quite a few suits as Ponds and Bees is one of my favorite places to go shopping. Um, but I would like to buy a really, really nice suit. The best. Only the best for our boy Michael. For this um, movie premiere, right? I do have a few questions regarding Michael's role as associate producer. We've seen bits and pieces of him on set, so he actually legit has been on set and oh. working, which is really good. He's helped Solomon quite a few times with many different tasks, but I just wondered, like, what else does he do in that role of associate producer? I kind of would have liked some boring missions not boring to me but boring missions of actually doing chores for like being on the set making some decisions regarding the movie itself some producer decisions you know what i mean change into your tuxedo and ponsonby is to attend the meltdown premiere Dad, I'll That's be at Ponsonby soon. I've got a ride. You better get a badass tux. Tux, 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 tux. Hang on, I think the tuxes are over this side. Oh, he's going to look so good. This is going to be so exciting for him and Tracy. Oh! So that's it there. Oh, guys, look, I think that's a bit boring. <laughs> I just think it's so that plain. Material. I would have liked a little bow tie or something, maybe. Oh, he looks really good, though. This is going to be so much fun. I paid this guy to drive us. Oh. Get in the back. 
Oh, nice. A limo. What are you wearing, Jimmy? You've got shorts on. <laughs> a stretch limo. Oh, that's pure class, Jim. It's beautiful. Stop messing around. It's your premiere. Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Oh, hey, hey, look where in you there. going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! <laughs> Jimmy, get back down here! Which makes me a movie producer's kid! Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work! <laughs> and I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit! Oh, no, you are not, mister. <laughs> well, he's Before excited appearing anyway. on reality rehab show. <laughs> And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. Cool. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. <laughs> Cause I don't care about hey. movies like him. That's terrible, Jimmy. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Yeah. 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 You see the streets edge losers? Chisel in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Finewood? You hear that, Vinewood? <laughs> hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. No. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. <laughs> Get back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. <laughs> We're actually, like, properly invited. V to the I to the P. Jimmy. Read my neck rolls. <laughs> Entitled. E. N. T. Uh, Title. Because I am. Jimmy! <laughs> oh, Pop, chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. <laughs> hey, man, what's up? What does he want? Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man, I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget! Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? It's so let's just the calm background. down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste! Yeah, namaste. Check it out! It's a premiere! Sorry, but what's all that... Uh, you know, I'm really sounds. proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, oh, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, oh, of course they will. Yes, of course. And, uh, have you well, ever... hello. Maybe I shouldn't hello. I am having yeah, my yeah, so moment. My mind, I <laughs> hey, get yes, away from me. I'm make trying a lot to pose. Of them, so you need to get on hello, this side hello. of the fence. And have you ever shot in France? I heard that you like to do a lot of European artsy stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. France, you know, the land of art. Here comes okay. the they both did their piece producer. And they both got it done. And I, I think I'll say that they were fucking outstanding. Oh, yes. Here we go. What Thanks, are you Antonio. doing, Jimmy? Me nice and tight. Never, hey, it's oh, no, on this the guy. Carpet of meltdown. Some big <laughs> stars. Some beautiful dresses. Oh, no. We're going to see some side boot tonight. Come on. <laughs> we did it. Solomon. We fucking yes. did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere <laughs> at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Really? Oh, fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really <laughs> modern stuff. <laughs> awesome. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come Milton, on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um... Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Can I just have a hug? Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jimmy looks actually really cool. Where the hell is she? 
Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing what? here? Hey, what Please. a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? No. You, me, the proud producer. <laughs> Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife, seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> what? You twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Hang on, what? Let's what go, does Chip. that mean? What does that mean? Hold on. Where's Mom and Tracy? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. Oh my god, why would you got two minutes to sacrifice yourself for your family? Oh my god. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole oh. is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his oh. lawyer died and, and he just told me. Gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I gotta say in it. No but way. You fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. No. Shit. Alright. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Oh my god. Well, where are they? At least done anything to hurt her. That's not a family car. Oh my god. All right, Jimmy, you gotta hide. I'm gonna find the girls. Careful, Dad. Daddy's home. You asshole. Oh! You. Ah! One of them's in with Tracy. We gotta get in there, Michael. He's in there with our girls. Oh. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh, I'm too nervous. I'll, I'm sorry, Tracy. <laughs> ah, one of them's in with Tracy. We gotta get in there, Michael. I'll use a He's pistol. in there with our girl. Mom, Dad, fucking hell! Do something. That's better. Oh, God, it's gross. <laughs> it is gross. Oh my God. Oh, here okay. we go. You just stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Aww. Clear the building! No one oh, leaves! Beautiful. I told you to I want a shotgun to get uh, these guys. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole? Oh god! My house! Not My yet. house! Stay put. Take them down! Clear. My beautiful house! Neither do I. Just this keep calm. Wow. Oh, my house. I need some of that health there. My beautiful home. Where are you? Go in for the kid. No. There's so many of them! What are they doing? Devin! I'll kill him! I'll seriously kill him! Oh, I cannot believe this! Oh my god! Why? There's so many of them here! Where's the police? Side note, I love the storm right now. It's a beautiful touch. Trace! My Amanda, gosh. I think they're gone! My home! My carpet! My family! Oh my gosh. Oh no! I got you, you dick! Oh no! Help! 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 What was that? Someone there? Who's that? I'm gonna start shooting! What? What's that? Fuck. Who is that? What the hell hey, is this? Like it, don't you, huh? Take it off! <laughs> oh. Get, oh, it's Jimmy! Off me. Uh, I, I thought I was on that guy! <laughs> so you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good though, huh? Alright, listen, I'm gonna make a call. Oh, Jimmy, you're it's all gonna be okay. Stay put. Oh my gosh, that was oh, that was awesome. 
I would have loved to have gone around the house like that as Jimmy with night vision. Oh my god. They gosh. came to my house, Lester. My house. So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. Oh. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you, oh, nor is no. Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Well, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was so, so, so exciting. So exciting and so scary. Where, where, where's Amanda? Like, where is she? I can't hang out with her, can I? I can't just call her. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. This is Tracy DeSanta. I'm probably studying, so uh, psych. Uh, <laughs> leave a message and we'll hang. Um, they probably won't answer because they may be able to get traced. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. This is James DeSantis' personal line. If you've received my resume by email and would like to discuss how my combination of street smarts and book knowledge can improve your business, oh, wow. please leave a message. Whoa! I think that sounds really cool. It, it, he's cleaned up his act. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, guys, uh, the, the heist, the big score, that is the big one. We won't do that in this episode. Obviously, we'll do that in the next one. Wow, it's going to be so exciting. Oh, that last mission, the movie premiere, and then, oh, Amanda. Michael, did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. Mm. He's not going to try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. Mm. I'm gonna take care of this. We need to kill Devin. We need to erase him. That's the only solution going forward. Um, guys, I'm just going to swap over to Trevor. We have finished all the celebrity items. No, 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 don't do, don't you do the mission. Good game good game because this is where the mission oh, is well i almost made it home yes you almost did and i'm so glad that you did not step foot in there trevor okay um this one the celebrity items we've actually done them all we are going to go and see nigel again and his wife that is going to be so 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 cool i'm looking forward to that Guys, I know that I still have a few side missions. Look at those rats. Oh my gosh. Cool. Um, I'll just see, play it by ear, see how we go. If I have more side missions to do, then like I've said a couple of times, I will make an additional video just doing the side missions. So never fear. There's always that. <laughs> But I am looking forward to going to go and see Nigel, so let's go ahead and do that. I can see that we have another couple. Oh my gosh, a letter from Patricia. Patricia, Patricia. The truest of hearts break the cleanest. Just to say that you always in my heart. My heart is full because you are in it. Be good. What we have together, it was very special. I love you, but I am a wife, and a wife must be with her husband. Patricia. You are a good woman. He is a lucky man. If he hits you, I will rip his head off and fill his side. I have thought about that a lot. I've also done it. But not to your husband. It's quite fun. I miss you. You were the best thing ever. A woman who liked me and who I could be myself with. Not like most people. 
If you want to leave him, I am waiting for you always. Oh, guys. I love that so much. I don't think she would answer anymore, would she? No. She has to move on from, from Trevor, which is so sad. Guys, I just wanted to show you also that on the front of the car, we have Mr. Raspberry Jam, which is adorable and kind of weird but we're not alone Trevor has Mr. Raspberry Jam it'll have to do for now and he also has Josh the real estate guy to hook him up with um, uh, someone <laughs> we don't know who that is we might find out one day if we keep oops sorry if we keep doing those missions Oh, there's Nigel! A foreign language! Well, hello, sir! Haven't seen you Would for you ages! Look at that? What's he doing? There you are, hmm? Jock. Yeah, Jock. I got you that stuff. Oh, great! Oh, cool! Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm. not my wife. Oh. She's got a husband and two lovely kitties at home. Oh. We met online. Oh. It's n nothing sexual. Where is she? Oh. Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. Why? <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, Jock. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? Oh. Okay, yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. That's on. nice. I've got a protruding hip. <laughs> it's not a semi. <laughs> Nigel! Oh, no. You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Alvin Ellery <laughs> walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting Who? for? Well, that's what? a long story. Who's this? A mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Oh, me! I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's oh. trousers could have come undone at that point. <laughs> yes, anyone's. anyone's. Jolly bad luck. And we were such <laughs> fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know Ooh. it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. <laughs> If we could only get him somewhere private. Let's kidnap him. L like that little lockup, I know. <laughs> no problemo. Look, there he is. Oh, let's oh, go. Shit. Let's that go. that crazy English bitch again. <laughs> Nigel, he remembers me. <laughs> to the chariot. Oh, Jock, I love it. Drive. I love Wait, it. He's getting away. These guys are awesome. Come on, Jock. Get yes, him. Yes, yes, yes. Hurry up, Trevor. <gasps> let's go. He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock. Thank you, Jock. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Did you ever imagine we might get a Ooh. private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams. <laughs> All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. <laughs> if only we'd known. This guy I loved him well. We'll never get that deposit back. Loved him in the Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Napoli line. This is turban warfare, motherfucker. <laughs> it's uncanny. Don't go crazy. We prefer oh. him in one piece. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Nobody here go. Oh, I won't. Oh. Do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? <laughs> Have a little faith. Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. Glad to see you on the proper side of the road. Oh, boy. yes, the, the left hand I side. Hear that behind his charitable public face, he's remarkably right wing. One can but hope. <laughs> Liberal in the bedroom, conservative at the board. Oh. Find out! He's going into the car park. The car park? No worries, mate. <laughs> what on earth will we feed oh. the man? I hadn't even thought of that. Damn. Oh, he probably ate car. sushi or wheat. Excuse me, my car! <laughs> oh, God, oh, this is my so giddy fun. Aunt. Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? <laughs> my prostate has taken quite a beating. Oh, you have to lower the tone. <laughs> oh, I hope he likes us. How could he not? This lockup you prepared sounds charming. Yes, indeed. Just be yourself, Mrs. Thornhill. <laughs> This must be second nature to you, Jock. All those stunt 
Is he going through the hospital? Oh my god! Oh Hold on to your corsets! What? Oh, uh, no Seems way. rude not to follow him through the window. <laughs> what? Oh no! <laughs> it's all gone topsy turvy upside down! I'm sorry! Oh, there he is! This is so uh, would you fun. like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, come here, you. Come on. Come on. Let me meet your biggest fan. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Oh, it's Get off me. <laughs> 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 You're good to go. Ah, a true gentleman. Oh my god. Yes, I think. <laughs> Not jobs. <laughs> that was honestly one of the best things. Oh, I absolutely love that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I loved that. That was so funny. And what, honestly, to go through the hospital? Hey, hey. My God, I wonder if we can go around the other side of the hospital and go in, or, or you know, I'm I'm gonna check that out. That was such a fun mission, and this to me is a huge reason why it's so worthwhile doing side missions i know that some people don't like side missions they may say oops that they're boring but guys this was not boring this was so much fun it's so fun the lines from trevor in i'm just going on and on and on because I'm still so excited. I'm a little bit hyperactive about that now, but it was super fun. And side missions are definitely worth it, guys. Definitely worth it. No hate. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'll be able to get there unless I take a car. Man, that was so amazing. Get off. I need to look at something. <laughs> Trevor, he doesn't care. He does not care one bit. Oh man, I just want to go and see if the hospital is still open. <gasps> Patricia, oh my gosh. Patricia. Trevor. Oh, mm, it's good to speak to you. My thoughts are with you. Is he, uh, Martin? Is he treating you well? If you ever. You're a sweet boy, Trevor. A sweet man. Oh, Patricia, I really miss you. I have to go. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love that so much. I love it. It makes me so happy. Just knowing that Trevor has someone. He has Patricia. Look, where is this hospital? Why can't I find it? All I want is the other side of the hospital, guys. I'm having a difficult time. There. Oh. It's been boarded up. That is so cool. That is so cool. Okay, I can see some free health. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Um, okay guys, a quick look on our little map here. As we are with Trevor, I'm thinking I may go and do the next mission for Josh, the real estate guy. We may as well um, just keep going and see how that goes. I don't want to make these videos too long because I know a lot of you don't like the side missions. Some of you do, thank you. Um, so we will just see how we go, see how long these take. I think they're pretty small, but look, I'm still on a high from that mission with Nigel. I had the best time. 
I am looking forward to continuing that. So let's see what we have in store for us. Oh, we're back at the motel. I see. And here we go. It was the crash, not you. Tony, Hi. Tony, Tony. Oh, you nailed that bastard. Oh, yes, All right. we did. Go ahead. She's waiting for you, right upstairs. Oh. Okay. Bouncy, bouncy. All right. <laughs> we are a bit upset about Patricia. This may take Trevor's mind off things. I am so curious if we can ever see this woman, though. I really would like to know who this is. <laughs> nice. Awesome. There Tony, he is. Tony, Tony. Hope you had a good time up there. Huh? Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. Bit skinny, but not not bad. Where you know her from? You uh, you ain't the pimp type. Pimp? No, she's my wife. She's my wife. I left my first wife and kids for her. Oh my god! The best decision I ever made. What? Oh, fantastic. I mean, she's been the making of me. What? So whatever gets you off. Man. Listen, um, wow. If if you're up for it, do, do you remember that house on Eclipse wow. where oh. I was standing out in front of? Mm-hmm. You remember it? Okay, okay. Well, that's. That's my old place, and it, it's in foreclosure. But, well, if something was to, to, to happen to the place, you know, some gas gets spilled, I'd, I'd oh. still get the full value in the insurance. I'm just saying. Oh. Yeah, I understand. I see. I love you. <laughs> I'm, I'm real glad that you fucked my wife. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> this is so weird. This guy Oh, by the way, there's a can of gas in my car that you can take. Okay? Okay. Please be careful with my car. Gasoline. Check. What if... So he's right there. I'm, I want to crash the car. He doesn't say anything. I wanted him to say something. Because <laughs> he says, please be careful with my car. No, I don't want to. Now, that is a weird <sighs> Just situation. Just when I thought this situation couldn't get any more messed up. Weird. If I'd known she was his wife, I would... Nah. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't think that would have made a difference, Trevor. Let's be honest here. So we have to go and burn down Josh's house for insurance reasons. Hello, sir. Tony, hey, hey, it's me, But Listen, there's a gas grill out by the pool. Mm -hmm. Now you light that up, and I'll be able to see the fireworks from here. Now you do this for me, and you will see just how grateful Mrs. Bernstein can really be. <laughs> Leave it to me. Awesome. Just feed her up a bit, will ya? How can it be wrong when it feels so right? <laughs> yes, exactly. How can it be wrong indeed, Trevor? So weird. This Josh is a very strange man. All right, so we are almost there. I do remember that house. Oops. Oh, well, it's only Josh's car. Doesn't matter. This one here, this little house. <laughs> All right, so how do we get in then? Just like that. Okay, time to light the grill. Um, where's the... There, there we go, there we go. This is a beautiful house. It is such a shame. Okay, so here we go. Pour a gasoline trail. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. That's so cool. Nice place, but give me the Billingsgate Motel any day. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why, Trevor. All for you, Mrs. Bernstein. <laughs> yes, all for you. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, we are almost here. You know, Trevor, you could just go to a prostitute. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's shoot that bad boy. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh wow. This thing is gonna go 
Bang. Mm, okay, that's gonna attract attention. I should probably get out of here. You probably should. You probably should get out of here. Oh, wow. I would love to stay around and look at that a bit more. Oh, damn it. But this is why. <laughs> Oh boy. We have cops in both directions, which is worrying. Very worrying, but hang on, how did they pick me up? I don't know how they picked me up. I was out of their radar. Which way is that guy gonna go that way? Okay. I hate being stuck on these back streets near where Franklin lives because if a cop is coming down one way, it's really hard to get away. Like this situation up ahead, you know? Cool, done. Josh Bernstein, Realty. I hear that property <laughs> on Eclipse is hot right now. It sure is. Excellent. Let me speak to my better half about schedules and uh, we'll get back to you. Awesome. Great. <laughs> nice. Cool. We did such a good job. Well, guys, I don't really think there's anything else I want to do in this episode. Next episode, we are going in for the big score, the final heist. There's only a couple more things on the map, like we've got some rampages. We have Marianne, which I'm keen on. We also have Marianne up there for Franklin, I think that one is. And the Epsilon stuff, which I honestly haven't done since, since I've stolen all of those cars. I may be inclined to put the Epsilon things in one of it, one video of its own. I'll just see how it goes. Don't know yet. If you guys want to see the Epsilon stuff, do let me know. Otherwise, I'll just do it by myself. I have heard that it's very annoying. You guys have mentioned it's very annoying. So I probably would just be raging about it. I have had the best time in this episode, as I always do, especially the last several episodes. It's just been getting better and better it's getting more exciting more in depth i am loving the direction it's going because i'm very scared and nervous uh we've heard that devin wants franklin to take out trevor he's not going to do that he just wouldn't i'm pretty sure that michael would be the best person for that and because he doesn't want trevor around anymore anyway after this big score it would be the perfect opportunity for michael to take out trevor indeed it's just been an excellent episode and meeting up with nigel again that was so so funny i absolutely loved that that was definitely worth the hassle of going to get the celebrity items because that was fun too anyway i just had such a great time guys i'm looking forward to the next episode because it is the heist cannot wait bring on the big one and let's see what happens then have a great day guys i'll see you soon for the heist bye